A Minnesota winter rarely brings a bluebird day, but for Ron Rudolph, the little red-breasted bird. I needed something to do, so I went out to my shop and I started cutting out pieces for bluebird houses. He soon had 12 bluebird houses. Ron asked his daughter to get rid of them on Facebook. There were 100 requests for bluebird houses. Five thousand bluebird houses, but Ron and Christy never set out to make money. So now, any profit from the bluebird houses goes to a very special place. Our Lady of Peace here in St. Paul is where Ron's wife Pat passed away. He can't say enough about the hospice and how they cared for his wife. So after overhead, instead of keeping the money he makes from the bluebird houses, he donates it all here so they can continue their good work. It gives us. Great pleasure to be able to donate proceeds back to where this all started. You don't think that's right? Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe this on here. Oh, yeah. Maybe if this like went something like this. Oh, yeah. And then that, and then that little piece. Does that look like it makes sense? Yeah. Do you think so? Do you think that's how they go? Kind of, yeah. Okay, so now um, Grandma and Grandpa and me and Kathleen are going to go for a walk. And when we come back, you can have a trip together, right? No. No. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, we're going to start with this right here. Okay? I'm going to help I'm going to help you guys. Here's a hammer. Now, are you left-handed or right-handed? Right handed. Oh, There's no such thing as a left handed. These are left handed hammers, so I don't There's know. There's no such thing as a left handed hammer. I might eat my. I can't eat my. I might eat my thing. Okay. You see? You see that? Oh, see that right there? Yeah. And you see that there? Uh -huh. And you see the line? Uh -huh. This is how it has to go. Now, it can't be over the line or under the line, otherwise, the door won't. So I'm going to start this one, and I'll start your. Can I have your hammer? I'm going to start it because okay. it's because it's just a little tricky. Okay, but you're going to finish it because I ain't, I built enough of these. And I'm getting Do you tired sell these? of these. Huh? Do you sell them? Well, I used to, not so much anymore. Okay. You could have made a bunch of money. Yeah, you should you should sell the kits for money and then now the other one. Oh. Oh no. Well that's alright. We got a lot of nails. Do I pull it out? Well, yeah, eventually. Get that one down a little further. Because I'm going to start here. Nope, that's that's good. I think you you got that good enough. You finish it off, and we'll take the next step. Okay. Go ahead. I have dents in the wall. That's all right. Keep going. Now, find me this piece right here. That piece? That's find me that piece. piece. I had it in my okay. hand the whole time. Is there an X on it somewhere? Yes. No. Oh, yeah, right yes. there. Yes. Right there. Now, where do you suppose that one? Yes. like that. Well, you kind of want to go that direction. Don't go like that, or what's going to happen? It's going to go. You're going to bend it. So, so hit it that way. You don't want to hit your finger. Hit it like you mean it. Look at you. Stop the 
the build off. Lay it down on its side. Kaden, look at it. Now we're going to take one of these pieces, lay yours down, and see if you can figure out which piece goes. Now, does that look like this? Lay it on its side. I'll grab a piece and see if you can put one on its side. Okay, so I bet you it goes like this. I know, it gave me a splinter, so I'm You're like. Right. It gave You're me right. a splinter, so I had a right. No. Oh, you keep it, you boy! Look at that, you got it right. I'm going to start these two because if these get off a little bit, then the roof won't fit and the doll won't. So we're going to start this one. I'm really good at hammering and nails for one reason. Well, these, these are a little easier to press. They're going straight down. There you go. Okay, what about this one? Bob the Builder! Yeah! Oh, yeah. That'll come later. That was a good question. One side is really waterproof, and the other side is kind of made up of what wood chips. Yep. There you go. Now you got to flip yours over and figure out where that. Oh, it's easy. You just do the same thing, right? Yeah. 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 Logging. Is that what you call it? Put one down here, Brad. Put one right down there. Tell uh, Cassin what you did there. It looks like you pre drilled the hole so you know right where to put them. Well, it just makes it a whole lot easier. I've got a jig that I use. On the drill press. I still have one hole right here. Well, that's for the door. We don't need that. No time. Can I give you a little tip here for a minute? You know why they put a long handle on that hammer? Oh boy. You get more leverage if you grab it back for so when, when, when you hold it like this, it just tap, tap, tap. So when you take it on analog stand, boy, you can really smack and try it. I know, but when I do like like this, I hold it down here. So one, I can put more force into the... That, should we put the door on next? Mm -hmm. But the left piece! <laughs> well, no. Not the last piece. No. We need... Oh, we have those pieces. You take, take those two. Don't drop them. I don't want the lump. No. I want you to see this. You take your two fingers like this. 
put it up here. Now, you know why we're doing that? Because this box gets so hot for the little babies, if we keep a little space up there, it allows for more ventilation. If it was up tight. So is that why the, the holes are down here? Hang on to your hand. Uh, why don't we have a hole right here? Well, we're going to make that hole, but I wouldn't know where to put it right now. So you want to come around on this side? I want you to take a nail, one of the nails, and put it in that hole. Guess how did you come up? How did you get both of the hammers now? You put that there! No. Why do you think the kids all left so the other side. Don't flip it over here. We got a we got a little bit of it. You don't want to pound that one in tight because she yeah, the door you don't want You want it to pivot. Yeah be yeah, because you have to be able to pull it out. So whoops. There you go. But you don't want to hit that one tight like that. Some birds well, it might not be a lizard. What's happening? Otherwise, other animals will be in the winter. Oh, I didn't clean mine out. Oh, no, it was right there. No, I, I brought a bunch of them. And then there's one for the chain, one for the kids. Oh, yeah. Once more. Okay, come on over. Once more. Oh. They're going to win the kids. Yeah, they should. Mm -hmm. Before they get back. In 17 months. They should walk around the plastic, which is the best part. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. What did we say about nailing that one down all the way? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, now. And when you pull it out, that spins. Okay, so that's the door. Now, how do you how do you suppose we, you're going to keep that door shut? Do your grandma and grandpa lock the door in the camper every night? Yeah. Well, don't you think we should lock this door? How do you, how do you suppose we should do that? For a nail piece? Mm -hmm. well, we, we gotta drill a hole first, don't we? A two-headed nail. You find a two-headed nail. And it's not a trick question. Oh yeah. Take this. It's a sword. Okay. Right? It's a sword. Oh there. It's a okay. sword. I didn't it Take your drill. I'm gonna watch. Take your drill. Now you gotta stand off. You gotta put it at a little angle. So I'm gonna just hold it up, but you pull the trigger. Okay. Now we're gonna pull it back up. Keep pulling the trigger. So, now did you want to go on that angle? Oh well, maybe we should have found a bigger nail, a bigger drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because if it's like this, the nail will fall out. So it's a little oh. bit. Of an angle. Ah, that's why it's at an angle so they don't fall out. You gotta take that one out. You gotta, you gotta pull, you gotta pull this. Yeah, it's a yeah. slingshot. Pull it out. Pull it out. Now let it go. Now it go. Why are you just all out of fire? Okay, wait for him. Wait That's for him. Right. Angle. There you go. Pull the trigger. Whoa. Pull it again. Pull it. Woo. Now we can shoot it out, right? Oh, that's heavy. 
there. Don't drop it on your toe. Weird out. So, um, so you're gonna are we allowed to spray paint this? Do whatever you uh, want. Well, no, I told him I went over to him. We can paint him. Um, Start it. I will let you use these chairs so they don't come home. And it's so funny because. Keep going. Um, let her go. Jim is like me. He doesn't want okay, to get crap. Now I'm we're going to do this crap one. Out. I mean, it's like. If you hit my fingers, stand up. Stand up. There. No, you don't need to. Sit. There. No, he doesn't. Get it like you mean it. I think you just made yourself a bird. Now open the door. See if it works. Yeah. Check the yeah. little bird. Oh, no, shut the door. Shut the door. So then Jim kind of ended it and he was like, well, cinnamon flavored nails. Ron, these oh, are yeah. cinnamon flavored? That's in case oh, he Is it easier if you stand up? Captain, that's Captain. That's in case you have to drill some teeth. You gotta hit it like you mean it. And I'll taste hit it. it. I don't want to hit your finger though. Oh. Get the nail, don't hit my finger. Well, can you move your hand? There you go. Now you now you got it. <laughs> ah, come oh, on! Do this one. Right. Hit it like you mean it. Don't just tap it like you. There you go. Yeah, you ah. Alright. Stand up, buddy. This is cinnamon flavor. Um, this is there. cinnamon flavored. Okay. Okay. Gasson. Gasson, we can't see your face. <laughs> okay. okay. Look, say cheese. <laughs> cheese and crackers. Mm -hmm. Ah, good job. What is, is oblong is as opposed to just a regular hole. So when the mother bird lands, she can land right there with her feet. And, and feed the young without going inside the house. She can feed the young from right outside the house. And they eat like moths and little insects. When I was mowing the lawn, when we had bluebirds at our house, when you're mowing the lawn, the moths would fly up out of the grass and the bluebirds would grab them and they'd come in here and feed the young. So that's what they eat. They don't eat bird seed, they eat insects like grasshoppers and moths, but it's it's designed for this way for a reason. Why do you suppose the roof is on an angle like that? So then, for like a predator, maybe. Yeah. What do you suppose? The, what do you suppose the biggest predator is for baby yeah. birds in a house like this? Like fox. Not Cat. So much a fox. Yeah, maybe a raccoon. So if a raccoon landed on this on this roof. Mm -hmm. How long is a raccoon's arm? Like real long no. or kind of short? Kind of short. So if a raccoon lands on the roof, do you think he'd be able to reach his paw all around this roof into here and get at the babies that are way down here? That's my, it, it, that's my welcoming <laughs> gift. That's but my did welcoming. You, do you understand what I'm saying? That's the reason this is designed like this. Because the nest is way down here, and so if a cat, if a cat or a raccoon was on here, they couldn't reach their paws around to get at the baby. That's the reason for the design. And what do you suppose the reason for the holes is on the side? There's a hole on each side. Why do you suppose that's there? Well, in August. In Minnesota, is it, is it cold or is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. It's really hot. And the little babies can cook inside a box like this, so there needs to be ventilation. Remember I told you to put your two fingers up here when you space the door? Yep. So you got ventilation there and you got ventilation on each side. That's the reason for that. 